Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am your guy, Neil Legend, the other half of Smash Movies and More Review, Bobby Bird. What's up? Man, I'm just, it's been a while since we did this. It's been it's a been while, a and I'm glad that we're here. Yes, sir. Hey, man, life happens. Don't even worry about it. Life happens. But guys, if you do not know Black Panther, number two, Wakanda Forever, it just came out, guys, and we got a review. I want you to go back and check out both the hours review. I have a non-spoiler. Bobby has an actual, a full a full spoiler, scene by scene, step by step. You have to go and watch it. So please go watch that. Me and Bobby, we're about to get into it. I already feel it. We're going to get into it and we want to bring it to you guys. We're going to have a comparison of our reviews and we also have a couple of questions for you. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. But please go down in the comments. Let us know how you like the movie. We want you to tell us how you like our reviews and this video. And if you agree, disagree, go down in the comments. Let us know. Please like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell not notification because it helps it, it helps us out. It helps out our algorithm. And um, you will get the videos up front and center. So without further ado, let's get it, Bobby. Let's go, man. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. All right. All right. So... As a lot of you know, uh, we have our Black Adam review mm -hmm. up, and we have our Black Panther What Kind of Forever review up. My favorite part about both of these movies is they focus around an anti-hero where you're not really sure if you're supposed to be with them or if you're supposed to be with the main protagonist. So, number one, which anti-hero did it better, Black Adam or Namor? Black Adam, of course. Of course. I, I, Black Adam. Like, Woo! and, and, it, and it's, not be, it's not because... It's not because of the characters. It's not because of of um their origin story, anything, or the actor. It's because of how the movies were written. The Black Adam movie, Black Adam, is the focal point of the whole movie. So, mm -hmm. uh, so you have that. Neymar, he had to share the screen, the, the screen with Wakanda, with the U.S. He had to share the screen with a lot of people because I was wanting them to dive deeper into his origin story. Um, and, and, and I'm going to say this and throw it back in your corner. Another reason why Black Adam did better is because Namor, I don't think they utilized him to his fullest abilities. And I'm going to leave it right there and let you jump on in on your yep. own question. No, nah, man, I, I agree. I wanted, I just want to see what you'd say. Um, I wanted them to dive so much deeper into Namor. I know that wasn't a pun. I, I really wanted to, I want him to have his own movie. I want him to have his <laughs> own like there's so much complexity in that character and not just, Oh, he's, you know, basically the Wakandan of the sea or, Oh, he's a mutant. Like there's, there's so many elements that I wanted them to go into and they just didn't have the time where we would be stuck with a four hour movie. Granted I'd watch it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. of course I, I get it. You know, sitting through Zack Snyder's justice league, it, it's, it's a little, it takes a whole afternoon. I get it. Yeah. It take a whole afternoon, and 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 the piggyback on what you said. My problem is, he, he, he here's a little facts for you guys. Namor is actually the first comic slash the first anti-hero villain, however you want to say. It. He's the first, and he's the first mutant. He was created in 1939, the very first, the very first one. And I want you to understand in this fight, you can compare this guy to the Hulk. I'm not saying he's going to beat the Hulk, but he is on par strength-wise with, with the Hulk. If you go back and watch Bobby Bobby um, review of the movie, he was telling you that, like, you know, Hulk, Hulk is like, you know what? I don't want to fight this guy if I don't have to fight this guy. Like, you know, if you want to throw me out there, I do it reluctantly, but I don't really want to fight this guy. And I just really believe that they should have, and this is a question to you, I believe they should have made a Namor movie just like how they did Black Adams just have his own movie. I'm glad they didn't bring Black Adam in with Shazam. I'm glad they didn't do that. But they should have had Neymar's own movie brought to the theaters. And then you have these two big entities. You have you have Black Panther and you have Neymar clashing. And now we have heart ties to both characters. Instead of having heart ties to one, and we just know that this guy's the villain. So our mind is already set up. We we with Shuri because we, we know what she's going through. We yeah. know what she's going through. So our minds, Neymar didn't even have a chance. He really didn't even have a chance to be loved um, by the characters. And what you say to that? No, I agree. I I know why they didn't do it that way. Because again, for our comic book fans, it's not a secret that Wakanda and Talokan or uh, 
are, are like mortal enemies. Yeah. It is just a thing. And mm-hmm. yes, they kind of teased at that with this and they're, they're doing the setup. So they couldn't just dive right in and be like, listen, uh, comic book readers are going to know this. Everyone that, that doesn't tough catch up. I know why they, why they didn't do that, but I don't know, man. I, that whole film so often, I was like, I mean, Namor's kind of out of line a little bit here, but he's kind of right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't blame him. Yeah. You know, you, the, your first time you pop to the surface, you're like, wow, y'all kind of suck. Uh, no, that's it. Take them all out. I trust none of you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We're going to pin this real quick. I just have to go on a small rant here. I <laughs> hate, hate and despise how they gave him his name of Namor. I hate that. Really? Go hate. ahead. I, I heard you say this inside your review. Go, let, let, oh, go oh, ahead and get it me, out. Get it out. It makes me angry. Like, I understand what they were trying to do. Uh-huh. They were trying to be more culturally sensitive to the area that they were in. And I understand that. And I love that they did that. But for some random priest to be like, oh, you're a child with no love. I'm like, homie, you're going to be dead in three seconds. <laughs> Why is this death speech that you're having going to have this effect on him? And then he's like, oh, I have no love for the surface world. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Your name is literally just Roman spelled backwards. Stop trying to be edgy. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Yeah. This is uh, 2022. This is why This is why everything is happening, which I'm going to use that for another argument later. But, um, man, before we get into the questions, I do want to say one thing about your review, though, man. Mm-hmm. Um. You said in your review that you don't think that fight was needed. You remember what you're talking about? I think it's the fight that they went in the middle of the water. And you said, I believe you said you don't think that. I wrote down in my notes, you said the fight. I said the fight needed to happen. And I, in your review, I believe you said that fight wasn't needed. It said the fight, it was okay, but you don't think it was needed. Oh, at the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big fight, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the only reason why I said the fight was needed. Everybody look at Shuri as a hot head. She did take a hot head approach. But Neymar did like some old, some old Troy, some old gladiator. Yes. He gave them a week to mourn. Yes. After that week, I'm coming back. I'm like, I'm not about to give you a week. <laughs> I'm not about to give you a week. I'm sorry I am mourning, but I can't give you a week. So I'm have to I, I have to roll up on your water and I and I have to take it to you. I have to bait you out within that week because you know why? You're not gonna be ready for it. So even though she was a hot head in that in that scene, it still was a smart play because you can beat him better by the element of surprise instead of waiting for him. Hmm. That that's the only reason why I say that fight was needed because I thought it was crazy. I knew it was a trap. Um, because I'm like, why are you gonna go fight Neymar? Why are you gonna go in the middle of the ocean to fight this guy? Like, I it just didn't make no sense. Oh, uh, I get it, but it don't make no sense. But that's the only way I can be okay with that scene is because oh, you want the element of surprise, and then at at that you still got your tail whooped. <laughs> that's I I they didn't got, think about it from that angle. They got beat. Yo. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. She got her tail whooped. Yep. If it wasn't for her plan, she was over. Oh yeah. No, there was. It, mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was the only thing. Your movie review loved it. Agreed. Thank you. Um, going to talk about something. But that was the only thing that I was like, <laughs> you know, no, I think I think it was I think it was needed. Um, the other thing is, and guys, I want you to go down in the comments and let me know how you feel when I say about this. How in the world you give this movie an eight and a half? How? How? No, this movie is not an eight and a half. What I said, this movie is a three and a half. Okay, a three point five, and we about to get into it right now because I really want to know. I, I think I know where you're coming from, but this Black Panther movie is a three and a half. And before I say this, because this is the caveat everybody is standing on, I just saw all the reviews. I heard your review. I love it and everything. You guys are not wrong, but we cannot let I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it PC. We can't let the sentiment of the situation dictate how we review this movie. We cannot let the impossible task that Ryan Coogler had 
dictate our thoughts on this movie. And where I'm coming from is you compare this sequel to number one, it's night and day for me. It's night and day. They took a totally different direction, which I understand why they took a totally different different direction. Yeah. But yet and still, it was so much in two hours and 40 minutes. To me, we didn't even see Black Panther until a little bit past the half mark of the movie. This really should have been a Neymar movie featuring Black Panther. I'm just be honest. This is my stuff. So I'm like, I promise you, think about it. If you didn't know this was a Black Panther movie, could you would you know that this was a Black Panther movie with everything that happened? If it wasn't for, I'm gonna say it, the passing of Chadwick Boseman, if that was just a fictional funeral, it wouldn't have hit like the way it hit. So that would have been out of our mind. True. That would have been out of our mind. But other than that, we really didn't see that much of Wakanda. We didn't see that much of it. Um, besides when it was getting decimated, we didn't yeah. see that much of, <laughs> of Wakanda. So in my mind, I'm like, it's a good movie. It's If this was just a movie, I'd give it an eight. But because this is a Black Panther movie and what I was expecting, I you know, I'd be generous. generous. I'd give it a four. No, I'll leave it at three and a half, man. Leave okay, I give it a three and a half. Man. Leave it. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me your spiel. So I think that for me personally, Chadwick Boseman's passing had a very like that was a cornerstone of the whole film. Mm -hmm. Whether you knew about it, whether you didn't, I think that the, the story elements that they hit on with it worked. Now, granted, it is very it's actually one hundred percent dependent on either knowing who Chadwick Boseman was. Yeah, or seeing and enjoying the first film. Yes, those one of the one, if not both of those two things, had to happen. Um, I I just I liked the way it was a it was a direct continuation of the last film. Um, I really liked that a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that there was there were a lot of points. It, I think the weirdest part is it went from being a Wakanda movie to becoming a Talo Khan movie. Yes. Like the yes. whole, like the whole, really the first two thirds of the movie is Talo Khan. This is basically the origin story of Talo Khan and, and Neymar. Yeah. Like really? Yeah. And I know why they did it again uh, in Ryan Coogler's original script. um, You had uh, uh, uh T'Challa and Namor kind of coming in odds where they're like, we like it was a similar story. Okay. But much more impactful. And I was like, okay, I, I like that. I like the I liked what they're going with this originally. But for this movie itself, I, I just in the short time span that they had, given all of what it was, I was like, I I can I can I like this. Okay. Um, because I watched the first movie right before going to see the second one, and I was like, hey, granted. Do I like the first one more? Absolutely. Absolutely. Without yeah, question. Um, but I think that it was a good continuation for the source material that they had in the time frame that they had. Yeah. Um, let me let me put something in your brain right quick. Oh dear. Here, no, here, here's another problem with how they did it. Do you know how much of T'Challa life and, and, and comments that, that was just missed because they went directly to this fight? Oh yeah. And that's and my thing is I'm like, are we gonna get that? Are they gonna circle back around and get it? And if we do get it, how are they gonna do it? Like, mm -hmm. like it's 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 so much of time that's missed, yeah, with how they did this. And I'm just like, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm standing on a good rock because I like the comments or or am I little and you can tell me, am I'm little too insensitive of the situation? But at the I, end of the in the, at the end of the day, I, I, I'm like, execution scenes, everything was good. I just, yeah, that's just yeah. how I feel. I no, I, I don't, I don't think you were too insensitive about it. I think that as reviewers, um, something that, that I've seen happen a lot is people expect certain numbers yeah. on these reviews. Uh, if you look at God of War Ragnarok, if you look at um, the new Modern Warfare that came out, if you look at Black Panther, if you look at the new it's Doctor Strange, if you look at the new uh, Thor Love and Thunder movie. Like people expect high numbers yeah. on on these uh, uh, series that they're really passionate about. Mm -hmm. I think that as a reviewer, it's very difficult to be objective and go, here's how I feel about this. 
yes, it was a good movie. Yes, it had good points, but I did not like that, like two thirds of the movie. Yeah. So no, I'm not giving a good review. Yeah. Um, I think the coolest part about having multiple people here is we have differing opinions on it. And I think that's really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I when I go see movies, just and I, I hate using this phrase, so I'm not so I'm not going to. No. I <laughs> go to movies to enjoy myself in whatever medium is presented to me. Yes. I don't want to sit there and be like, oh, like if it's a film where I have to really think about it, cool. If it's a film where I can just sit down and be like, cool, we're just gonna watch this. It's a popcorn flick, cool. But I purposely watched that one trailer with you and that was it. Right. I, d- I don't want to go into this knowing a lot of things. And I'm like, yeah. I want to be surprised by what's going on. And I think that's why I gave it such a high rating is all the trailer points that I saw did not influence the film in any way. Yeah, They were all main points where I'm like, okay, duh, of course there's going to be a big fight scene and something involving water and some wing dude. Cool. Yeah. And I think for me, just going in a little blind like that definitely alleviate like uh i elevated my score just because i uh, again i record these right after i get out i'm like all right cool here's what we're doing here are my exact feelings this is what we get yeah so those are my thoughts on that yeah no 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 (laughs) i'm with you and and me you me and you is in the same boat i do not watch a lot of stuff or i actually block some people from calling me (laughs) and when these new type of movies come out I think just the problem that I had is because I know so much backstory. I was expecting something. Now, what they gave us was great. I'm not, like I said, what they gave us is great. It's just that I was expecting something else. Going back to our trailer review, and I have to concede Bobby Warren, he did say it was going to be Sherry. I have to say that. (laughs) But 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 look, let me tell you this. I knew it was Shiri, but just what it, and this is what's conflicting with me. I I thought that they was giving us a tease, and I thought that she was gonna be like, like in football when a head coach get fired, the interim coach come in mm-hmm. and just be there until the mm-hmm. main head coach come in. That's how I thought it was gonna happen. I thought I thought the beginning of the movie it was gonna be Shiri. I thought it was gonna be her at the beginning. But then somebody else, and that's why I kept saying, I'm thinking they're going to bring Michael B. Jordan back. That's where I was at. So Ooh. I didn't think that, I didn't think it was going to take the last 40 minutes of the movies for her to show up as Black Panther. Yeah. If it, they should have, they should have introduced her way before that as Black Panther. Yeah. That's my mindset. But um, guys, man, appreciate y'all for um, rocking out with us. You know, smash movie review. We appreciate you guys. Go down in the comments. Let us know what you think about our review argument right now. Because we, ha- we, we, we have a whole lot more stuff that we're going to give to you guys. <laughs> also, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please hit that bell notification. We're going to get back with you with some questions. I'm going to leave the floor to Bobby right now, and he's going to take us out into the next side of this episode. Bobby, what you got for us? Uh, Y'all, that was just part one. I'm really excited y'all are here. I'm having a blast with this. I'm so glad we're doing this again. But stay tuned. Part two is on its way. We'll catch y'all in a little bit. Peace. Peace. Hey guys, thank you. We welcome you back. We about to give you the last part. We might have a part two. I don't know, but we're going to hit you with the questions. We have already talked to you guys about the Black Adam versus Neymar, like which one you think played the anti-villain role better between them two. But we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of the questions. Please, before you do this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification because it will help us out with the algorithm and you will get the videos in your notification when we drop them. Let's go. So I have a question for you. My first question is, it says, now that Wakanda helped Riri build her suit, does it mean that they're going to build more? And that's one question. And on top of that question, I put our ESO suits is in the future of Wakanda. So with question one, I no, I don't think Wakanda is going to build them. I think Riri is going to build them. Um, really? Yes, because they're having so the next Disney spinoff. So this uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever ended phase four. Mm-hmm. So phase four is completed. We're now moving into phase five. 
um, in phase five, they're going to have an Ironheart TV show, TV right. series on Disney plus. I think that Wakanda is going to be the place where like all of her, um, um, you know, iron heart suits are mm-hmm. like stashed and stored and held because it's outside of us jurisdiction. Plus it's safe. I think that Riri will build them. I don't think that Wakanda is going to have much input in them. But, 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 but here, here's my question because mm-hmm. we got to think of who the new king is now. Sherry, the one who creates mm-hmm. all this tech, mm-hmm. right? Even mm-hmm. in the movie. Not right. Okay, let me hear what you're saying before I go. So at the end of the movie, who who was there for the challenge? Yeah, yeah, I I, I got you. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to talk about... We, we're anyway, gonna talk about keep going, keep going. Keep okay, going. okay, okay. All right, so my thought before you just busted my theory all to pieces, <laughs> my thought was she going to have heavy input to the point where you remember even on the battlefield, what was the what was the woman name? Not not the one that got dismissed from her role as general. Um, Annika. Annika. Remember, yes. she had the, the, the kind of lightning da- daggers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Also, she was already creating uh, a super suit already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's just was like, is this a new turn? In both of them, they've been talking about technology. They've been talking about upgrading and, and stuff like that. So it's just a it's just a it's just a new turn for I don't I don't Wakanda. I don't think that the exosuits will be like a staple because again, we now get into that technological arms race of everyone's suit has to be better than someone else's, and then suddenly your whole army has a suit. So having a suit doesn't really help. You know what I mean? Where what, what? Uh, I, I don't. I don't. Oh, oh no! Go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm telling you, this is gonna be. This is gonna be like real good, man. Oh, uh, if they don't do that, then how are they gonna keep up with everybody else? They they couldn't even really take on Neymar and his people. Well, the main one, and what's her name? Any of them? Yeah. But so yeah. I'm saying, even with that, even with they not really super powered, but I guess stronger than the average person, mm-hmm. and they couldn't even take on them. Yeah. So I'm saying what's gonna keep what's gonna keep them in the race other than just one person with powers? I, I don't know. Um I think that having the Black Panther there to be their main defender and then having the Dormelage under them and then having I, I I don't foresee them going full exosuit with that with all their warriors. They might, but I think that just with the way um logistically that would work, I think that would take a lot away from them. Um, and if we're just being honest, I know that Disney's VFX department department does not want to do that because they're already overstressed and overbooked and overworked as it is. But they care about the bottom dollar. They care about money. They care about supplying the fam. And look, in the second film, and you heard my review, they already have gummed them up in the air. Yeah, yeah, know, they do. yeah they, they already have. <laughs> You said it. You said it best in your review. How did she get these skills? She was flying this thing like she'd been doing it before. She was, and we talk about Ironheart guys. She mm-hmm. was, she was flying this thing like she was doing this before. So I think that was the precursor to for things to come. It could be. I, I, I don't know. I that is the one scene where I really had a lot of issues watching it because, again, yes, they threw in the part where. Riri goes, yeah, well, there's a, there's a whole YouTube channel dedicated to, you know, my sightings. And I'm like, I get that. That does not mean you're able to fight the, at the standard that you are. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're in the ring with people. It, that's basically like stepping in the ring with Evander Holyfield right. and just being good to go. And I'm like, that's not <laughs> how this works. He had knocked out. Mike Tyson got knocked out. Like, like just cause I took a couple of Taibo classes does not mean I'm I ready could- to box with him. Like, that's not how this works. Get get Billy Blake out here. <laughs> Honestly, man, I was like, I, um, oh man, all right, oh, man, all right, cool, cool. I, you know what, I'm gonna concede and, and, and agree with you on that one. Until until some more proof come out, I'm yeah. gonna concede right now. So we're gonna move along to the second question. Question number two. Why did Sherry see Killmonger? Why? Why did she see Killmonger? And then the second part of that, can this potentially be an angle for the future? And yes. And okay, you said yes. You said no, yes. no, no, no. Keep going, keep going. Keep no, going, go ahead, I'm go gonna give you my angle. Now I'm gonna just let you go with no cut in. My my angle is because she do have a little anger, a little depression. Uh, 
in this movie, she kind of isolated herself from a lot of people. With all of that, I think she's like, let's say in a two minute in, in a two hour movie, the first 30 minutes, she's good. Something else happened. Then she just turns evil. And not necessarily evil because we know it's Sherry, but she she turned on that killmonger switch. Mm -hmm. And when she turned on that switch, now she is just wreaking havoc on anybody, everybody, do not care who you are, and she's killing. And she's killing. That's what I feel. And then towards the end of the movie, uh, she come back to who she is. That's that's the kind of angle that I can see. This may not be in the MCU, but this might be, it might be a movie just for her or something. I, I don't know. What you say to that? Um, so I think the reason Shuri saw Killmonger is when you take that heart-shaped herb. Um, subconsciously, your subconscious sees who you need, not who yes. you want. Because oh, you, who you remember, need. yes, she wanted to see her mom. Right. And they played the fake out on you where, again, if anyone's still here and hasn't seen this movie, there are going to be, there are spoilers that have already happened. And this is spoilers. Only um, she enters the ancestral plane the, at the point where her mother died. Right. So then she goes up and she sees Killmonger and he's sitting there and he, and he even says he like, you needed me. You are literally on the same path that I am. Yeah. You felt some hurt. You, you buried it. You pushed it down. You, um, you, you dove into your technology. I dove into my, into my uh, fighting skills. We're very, we're the same. And she's yeah. like, we're not, we're not the same. And he's like, no, we were really, we're more similar than you're giving me credit for. Um, if anyone has seen Moon Knight, it showed that whatever ancest whatever ancestral belief you you follow, any religious beliefs you follow, the afterlife of that belief is where you go. Because you remember, Shuri doesn't believe in Bast. She doesn't right, believe right, in the ancestral right. plane. She's like, yeah, whatever. I, if you can't, like, even when her mom's like, so, I, like, I felt T'Challa. And she's like, dude, no, you didn't. That's just your brain trying to make you feel better. Right. Like, that, that's, not, that's not how this works. So I think she saw Killmonger because she just that was that was who she needed to guide her kill i say killmonger is what we see and killmonger is what's on the inside of her yes yes and she it's like that that whirlwind of feelings and she's trying to fight that because deep down she is a good person Mm -hmm. She loved people. She she protect people. But just in this moment, losing her brother, losing her mother, in this moment, everybody done been there before. Everybody, yes. I don't care. I don't. I don't cuss. I ain't even gonna cuss. But she's like, I don't give a f. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't care about this. I'm killing him, and yep. you gonna help me? <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's who she. That's who she. That's where she at right now. And it doesn't matter if you have 20 years of being a good person. Right now, you vengeful. Right yeah. now, you angry. Mm -hmm. Right now, you have blood lust. You feel like the world has taken everything away from you. Yeah. So now when you eat the heart-shaped herb, this is who you see. Yes. Because what you said at the beginning, it's not what you want. It's what you need. Yes. And... Did she need it in the ultimate run? We don't know, but she got the job done. <laughs> yeah. And it gave her a really cool looking suit. It did. It, it did. did. I it love did. how I love how she blended the elements of both suits. I loved it. Oh my goodness. Another reason why I thought this killmonger was coming back because that gold in there. <laughs> Another reason. Same man. All right, man. I'm gonna keep moving right along, guys. Please, man. Hey, we appreciate y'all for being here. We're gonna move it right along, but I got one for you. You got one? So Think back to the scene where we find Queen Ramonda. Namor's right outside, and she suspiciously... Riri is out of the water, and Ramonda's mysteriously in the water still. Did Namor kill her? He, uh, Yeah, he drowned her. Okay. That's what I believe. Well, that's what I saw. I haven't That's thought. what I... That, so I was looking at a couple of posts on Reddit and someone was like, no, she just, her dress was too heavy and she couldn't swim up. And I'm like, yo, don't try and tell me she got another body out of the water before getting her own mouth 
above the water so she could breathe air. Don't try and sell me this. No, man. why do you look after he <laughs> killed her? He gave them a week. That's what you do. He gave them a week because he only was there for revenge at that point in time. He was there for revenge because you remember Sherry wanted to save. I forgot the girl name. Wait, she wanted to save her. And the kid was like, no, we got to go. We only got a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. Because Sherry already knew what was going to come if she didn't save. And yes. honestly, I'm, that's not plot armor. That's just plot right there. Yeah. Because I knew that like in real life, if you could, if her bees can save this lady in one minute, let's do it. Let's try. But right here, we knew that was going to be the thing that said, oh, Neymar is going to the surface world. And he killed, he killed, that wasn't, that wasn't no, that wasn't no accident. That wasn't no just a, uh, 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 that wasn't just a calamity. That wasn't that. It was, I killed her. I saw she died. And now I'm giving you a week before I come back and wreak havoc. That's what that was. That's what I thought. Yeah, exactly. So great question, man. I love that one. Got me hyped over here, but <laughs> let's keep going. So now, 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 this is just what I saw right here. Will Sherry and Ironheart hook up? Will they become nah, a thing? No. Why not? No. Why not? Because I think it's it's the same fallacy that falls under Tony Stark. Where, yes, yes, he got married. And yes, there was a love interest. And yes, 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 fine, 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 fine. But if you look at the core of all of his relationships, None of them were stable. It don't got to be a stable relationship. Oh, it doesn't. But we're taking one super genius and another super genius and saying, hey, make time for all of your technology and all of your studies and all of this. And oh, find time for each other. That was my favorite part about Iron Man 2 is you could, they really hit on that scene where he was like, I I don't have time for anybody but me. And you notice, when is Tony Stark at his best? When he's working. Yeah by himself or when it's him and banner working together on, a, on the same project i, I don't think they're getting together mm. okay peep this. i don't I, see it i, I heart asked her out on a date at the very end of the movie she, she did asked, she asked her she asked she her out. so peep this now i heart in the comments had a girl girl relationship this is had, true had one with vid vixen okay mm-hmm. now it's an android not a real person but it was it was a lady depicted as a lady, yeah. even though it was an android. Now, can't say the same thing for Shuri. But this is why I'm thinking that way, even though it's not in the comments. This is 2022. And now we're getting out, out of the MCU. We're getting into what the world wants. We're getting into women being empowered. We're getting into women can do anything a man can do. We're getting into people... I can do this because I'm free. I'm experimenting. That would be the only reason why I would say that. Not because anything of what the MCU wants to do, but because they want to give back to the climate of the world today. Sure. Now, is it right to me? No. But when she asked her to come and let's go to this game together, I'm going to tell you something. She's 19 years old in this movie. 19 okay mm-hmm. she looked have you seen the movie set it off yeah she didn't look like chloe to you <laughs> <laughs> she didn't i didn't even think about that braids with a tank top braids with a tank top I can now see it. that got nothing to do with it. i just no, wanna, but <laughs> i'm just saying I'm, I'm, it I'm, does I'm, now I'm, yeah exactly i'm in i was like hold on chloe Look, this look just like her. This to me is a it's a young Chloe. I, I know that anyway. This ain't about to be no set it off. Uh, we'll come to three set it off. This ain't about to be that. But this it my looked man. like a young Chloe. So in my mind, they, I think they put in the picture as for she is woman. She is still feminine, but getting still, she's that dude. Mm-hmm. I just say it that way. She's that yeah. dude. And you heard what Siri said. She was like, she got Siri. If Siri didn't have something more important to do, would well, she would have took her up on that date? I don't know. Maybe. This is me just speculating. I'm just yeah, saying. No, I, I don't know. I I, I want to say no just because I don't think she's done with the healing process. Right. I think I, truthfully, I don't think we're going to see Shuri for a, for a hot minute. I think we might see her in like episode one of Ironheart mm-hmm. and then I don't think we're going to see her for a while. She probably, and I think, She's not going to be in the next two phases. I think it's going to be in probably phase seven. Maybe. That's my that's my thought. Maybe. 
I I don't I don't know. I think that they're really going to play on her having to really work through this pain, mm -hmm. and I I think that's really cool. Well, let me tell you something. You know, as a man, how we work through pain and hurt. Yeah, you put as, it in a box. Huh? You put it in a box and you shove it down. And you don't ever acknowledge it. And you don't feel anything ever again. No, we go. <laughs> no, we go get a woman. That's what we. <laughs> You know, you know the quickest yeah. way how men got over their ex is by going get another woman. Yep. I'm not saying it's right, guys. Don't no, me that. not it's at all. Just, it's just reality. Oh, uh, that's what <laughs> happened. So maybe, maybe she's trying to fill the void, and at that moment, she might need a little bit of Ryan Hart. All right, next question. <laughs> I got you. So let's go back to the uh, vibranium detecting device. Mm -hmm. All we got from this was uh, that one of. Riri's professor said you couldn't do it. And she got spiked and was like, yeah, watch this. Mm -hmm. Who do you think that professor was? I don't know, man. I don't know. Really? Yeah, really? I, I'm, I'm be honest. I didn't think about it. I didn't really? think about it. I'm sorry. And and I'm not thinking about it right now. I just want, I want to, I want to be intrigued with your story right now. I don't want to think about it. So I have this idea that I stole from Comics Explained. Shout out to them because they're, they're, they're the real ones. Okay, let's hear it. I think it's Dr. Doom. Hmm. I think it's Dr. Doom. One, they have to introduce the Fantastic Four somehow. Mm -hmm. Two, isn't it a little suspicious that a metallurgy class from MIT mysteriously got in the CIA's hands? Right. Out of nowhere. Oh, right. it's not the CIA. It's a rogue... It's a it's a rogue group. Shut up. It's made up of the top FBI agents and the top CIA officers. Don't at me. It's the U.S. Right. Also, uh, what villain in the MCU is really big on how metal works? That's right. not Magneto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm already playing it with you. Already playing it out like, of my mind. Because I heard someone mention that, I was like, oh, that's a little a bit of a stretch. And I thought about, it. I'm like, no. I've already introduced Reed, and yes, it's I miss me with the it's a different universe. Reed Richards, I know, stop it. But we've already introduced the character mm -hmm. in some capacity. There's uh, if history is any indicator of the future, all every Fantastic Four movie we've had, all of them, except for the Silver Surfer, which is the only tolerable one. Uh. Who have they fought? Yeah. Doctor Doom. Doom. In all of them. And just, uh, granted, Marvel might throw a curveball and pick somebody else. I don't think they will. No, no, because it, it Doctor Doom line notes with the comments, too. And more importantly, Doom, if we're going to go with the Kang War, Doom is going to have a huge role in this. Yeah, yeah. So, boom, boom. boom. Anyway, that's my thought on that. That's my rant. And I, <laughs> and you know what? I, I thank you for taking me down on that tunnel. I cannot disagree. Like, I, I was not, I didn't think that far, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, because in, you know, in my, I know that's what they said in the movie, but in the comments, she also said she wanted to prove it to herself. It was yes. around them lines. She would just want, she said that to herself. She wanted to see yeah. if she could do it. And then that morphed into something else. But at that time, see, I want to know how long she was working on that. I, they gave the time period, but like I said, in this film, she's 19. Oh, but in the comments, she was 15. Yeah. They said so, it was a couple months. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Built with scraps. And I'm like, uh, I love the Tony Stark reference of he made this in a cave with scraps. Loved uh -huh. that. But also I'm like, uh, I don't really, uh -huh. really. She did this in a couple months. Right. What right. happens they when you give her a whole year with actual tech from Wakanda? Then what? Right. Right. Cause, cause you got to think the iron heart suit that she made was done in a week. Yeah. So, yeah. so what are we, what are, uh, uh. Too many what ifs. <laughs> oh, you know, and, and speaking of what if, and I this this is just a question off my head. Um, and I saw your video. The lady name you were trying to think of was um her name is Valentine, right? Yes, Valentine. Do you think she is the MC version of Amanda Walter? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, they're That's they're one hundred percent building up the Thunderbolts. Okay, and that was the name I couldn't think of. It was the Thunderbolts. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Because we've got Florence Pugh's character. Uh, 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 what's what's Black Widow's sister's name? I still can't remember that. I can look, uh, it, up. I can look it up right quick. But her, uh, they've got U.S. agent with um, the 
Walmart brand Captain America. <laughs> you know, uh, Kate Bishop tried to get recruited. Like you can tell what they're what they're setting up. And so yes, I very much think it's it. And I don't think they're going to be so much a Suicide Squad. I think they're going to be the ones where it's like, hey, we need to do this for the for we need to get this task done. And we know the Avengers are going to say no. If I'm are saying this, down, if I'm saying his name right, Yulina Belova. Belova, that's right. There it is. Belova. Her. Okay. All right, yeah. Hey, guys, halfway through, uh, we appreciate you for being here. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, go down in the comments, let us know how you're liking it so far. Leave a question in the comments, and I promise you we'll come back, we'll answer it in our next one. And hey, you could be a special guest on our next video. But we're going to keep this thing moving right along. You got another one? Because I'm almost done, man. Uh, I think that's... I think that was those are all the questions that I had. Okay, okay. Um, I got one special one at the end, though, but don't. we'll come back to that. Okay, okay, because we, we we have a few. We have a few. Here's here here's here's the elephant in the room. We're gonna get serious Ooh. right now. Elephant in the room. And this is we talked about this offline just a little bit, and it's probably gonna get serious and deep depending on how far we go. Why there wasn't any strong men leads. And on top of that. For Wakanda, why wasn't there any strong black men leads? In your opinion. So I think that the reason there were no strong male leads. Now, we're just going to dive headfirst into this one. Um, phase yeah. four has been very heavy into the female leads taking center stage. Yeah. All of it. Um, if you look at the newest Doctor Strange movie. Um, America Chavez's character was mm -hmm. was the focal point. It was really her movie with Doctor Strange as a side character. Right. Uh, Thor: Love and Thunder. Love really was the yeah. main focal point of the movie. Um, she Hulk. Don't get me started on this. We're not doing this. We're not doing. We're not. We're not doing this. Oh, probably anyway. the worst six episodes I ever watched. Let me just be honest. We're gonna pin that because I will. I will just rant about that. Mm -mm. We'll, okay. we'll we'll have a separate video for that one. Oh. But all of this to say, <laughs> all of this to say, female characters are taking the lead roles. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it. I love it. I think it's great. As long as the character is well written, I literally don't care your gender, creed, racial identity. I literally don't care. I just want you to do a good job. That's the only thing I'm concerned with. Mm -hmm. um, but I was looking at the cast earlier, and Daniel Kaluuya is, is in this, in the cast. And I was like, right. He wasn't in the movie. Right. He gets they made, mentioned. They made, yeah, yeah, they made reference, but he's not in the and, movie. And when they reference him, they just, they shut him down. One of the elders does, and Baku pops in, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, let's yeah. not forget that that fight at the end of Black Panther wouldn't have gone so well if it wasn't for him. Now, granted, right. his tribe was kind of the reason for the fight. But, but, but what, what, what were they doing? They were loyal to the throne. Exactly. Loyal to the throne. So exactly. Okay. I'll so he wasn't. He was, no, no. No. You're no. You're right. Um. I. So I don't know. I think that the way this was written, for I think for this film, Shuri taking a lead role needed to happen, because she literally had to replace the strong male lead that was there. Like, she had to. There was no ifs, ands, or buts with that. Um. As far as there not being a strong black leader in Wakanda, see, my money was on, on Mbaku the entire time to fill that role. Mm -hmm. Not just because he's a fan favorite, not just because um, if you look at the actor, he's actually like a massive dude. Yeah. I think that he philosophically fills the role of leader much better than Shuri does. I don't think Shuri's ready. Shuri hasn't gone through the life experiences. And yes, she has just gone through two tragic losses. She does not have the life experience to be in a role of leading an entire country. Yeah. Mbaku has been leading the Jabari for, for how long now? And I'm like, yeah, how easy would it be for him to step in and be like, listen, I got this, which is why I love that end sequence where he's like, it's challenge day. I'm here. Who stepped onto the plate? And no one did. Well, we don't know if anybody did. Yeah. But I don't think anyone did because I think he was going to take over as leader of Wakanda and the seven nations. 
And Shuri was going to go off and be Black Panther and not have to worry about the political game. She could just worry about what she needed to worry about. Yeah. So let, me, let, let me jump. Um, go for it. So two things with that. One, I'm going to just be honest. I don't think he have the look. Mm-hmm. I don't think he have the look. Um, they can go that route, but I don't think he have the look. Two, in this movie, compared to the first movie, they made him the comedic relief. I know. They made him the comedic relief. You, every movie has to have a comedic relief. Has to, sorry. But he went from, like you said, this bit overwhelming, fierce leader to now being a servient. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 and this is going back to the video we watched. We can shout it out if you want to. But he basically got pumped in the movie yeah. by Sherry. Yeah. She put him in his place. Yep. She really put him in. I'm like, but he a leader of his own tribe too. Mm-hmm. And, and and it ain't like she did this leader. She did this out of out of anger, out of hurt, out of depression. And she put dude in his place. Now he was still there, but even before that, this dude come in eating Slim Jims and stuff and, 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 and joking. And, and even he, I mean, of course he don't have no powers, but yet and still he get punched pretty good by Neymar. Yeah. He get punched pretty good and, and probably put him down for the count right at that yeah. moment. And I'm just like, other than him, what other male slash black male lead we have? And the reason why I put emphasis on him being the comedic relief, that's not a lead. A comedic no. relief is not a, the only lead comedic relief is is Deadpool. <laughs> like, like yeah, Deadpool, I, to be honest. Really? So now, and guys, Deadpool is not in this movie. I'm just speaking for Marvel guys. You know? Yeah. Um, but you have that. You don't have nobody else. Now, contrast that with the first movie. You have Black Panther, you have Killmonger. You mm-hmm. have Black Panther father. He he had a whole lot of great scenes. You had mm-hmm. Killmonger father at the beginning. You mm-hmm. had you had Ibaku. Mm-hmm. Uh, forgot his name, but Daniel Kaluta had him his role. Strong yeah. black male lead. So mm-hmm. it's like every black male was taken away. And this, this is my question to you. I haven't seen the movie. But I read on Twitter. Of course, you know, Twitter got all the juicy tea. Careful with that. Right. I, I, I no, but but it made me no, think I, I haven't seen the movie. It says um the new Black Panther is Woman King 2.0. No, I haven't seen Woman King, so I can't I can't answer no. to that. Uh so uh, I'll I'll keep this short. Okay. Um I think that what this I think the reason they did so many female leads in this was I think it was supposed to be a literal mirror a literal mirror for black panther one you look at all of those black leads those black male leads most of the female counterpart to them be it their wife be it their um sibling their cousin their something was in a lead role in the second film that's kind of how i interpreted it was it was these are reflections of one another um with the woman king i Aside from the um, the historical inaccuracies in that movie, and there were plenty, there were a lot. I, guess, I didn't I know about this. It, it I, I didn't know about any of these until after I saw the movie because I, I got out of the movie and I'm like, oh, this was so good. This was great. Oh my goodness. And then I started watching like other reviewers come out and be like, this is trash. And I was like, what do you mean? It was a great movie. Then I'm like, oh, 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 I didn't see all the things that they changed to. Uh. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but no, I don't think it's the Woman King 2.0. I think that it is Ryan Coogler mirroring his original work. Hmm. Is that getting a little meta with things? Yeah, it is. But if you look at, if you actually do a deep, uh, um, uh, like a super deep breakdown on Wakanda for on uh, the original Black Panther, Ryan Coogler puts so much more into the film in undertones that people don't see mm-hmm. on your first or even second walk, uh, watch through. Uh, FD signifier has a video up about that's just titled you're wrong about black panther 2018 and i just want to say it is incredible it's an hour long but it goes deep deep into a lot of these topics that like the like we're talking about now where i'm like hmm never really thought about it that way so that's 
yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the Woman King 2.0. I think that they are just mirroring one another. Okay. Now, did it, did it necessarily hit? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's what. Well, I think, I think, um, I said this in my review, and you can answer to this. I didn't feel a connection to this one like the way I felt the first one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what it what it was. I felt like this movie was more politicized than being a good movie. And the reason why I'm saying that because I look, this is all speculation, guys. I, I don't have no inside facts, all speculation, just from my eyes watching it. I'm like, I'm looking at Ron on Ron, uh, Ron Kugler brain and see how 2018 Black Panther was filmed compared to this one and this is going back to why i gave it a 3.5 um i'm looking at that i just don't see that big of a change from there to here it, it was so many things changed for the 20 the 2022 culture compared to how the movie black panther was in 2018 mm -hmm. and now when you go into the culture you have like i said it is women empowerment um, you have, like I said early on in the last segment, you know, it's the, I can do anything a man can do, which a woman can do anything, um, uh, a man can do when it comes to the things that they trying to say. Um, you have that. Here's my problem. I strongly believe that we have to stop putting women as lead with with the expense of men that's my that's what i saw and it felt like i i believe this movie could have could have been great with black women black men lead now here here's the thing it ain't just black we speaking about black because this is wakanda guys that get that out there but even what's my man name um is, is his name eric the white guy in the movie oh everett yeah everett everett they cut his role back <laughs> They cut his, he just had a couple yeah. of conversations and get saved at the end. But mm -hmm. his role compared to this movie, to the first movie, they did away with his role a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, men in movies shouldn't have to take a hit because of this culture. We got to find a way to coexist with one another. And that's my only gripe is that I, I love to see all these women because I'm going to be honest, let's just put it out there. I don't know if anybody else could have gave a speech like Angela Bassett did, like 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 Ramon, and she didn't no. do it one time; she did it twice. She put her foot down on one, and then she showed emotion on another. I don't I don't know I I don't know who else could play that role. Not not I, I can I can think of a couple of men, but it's just when words come out of woman mouth, and it has heart behind it, it has skills behind it, it has life behind it, it has hurt and pain and real pain you can't replace that you no. cannot replace that um and on top of that with, with you know she died i'm getting back into the movie now but that's my only gripe about it i'm done with it that's my only gripe i just overall my last thing my last thing word is we got to stop bigging up women at the expense of men and and vice and vice versa we cannot yep. big up men at the expense of women. We all need to come together and mm -hmm. do it together. That, mm -hmm. that was the only reason why it's a 3.5. If I didn't feel that way, it would be higher. I, th I think that makes total sense. Um, if you look at any review for She-Hulk, that's why it got trashed so hard. Yeah. Was because every guy in the film was a stereotypical, it like looked like they were written out of, the, out of a 90s movie. And I'm like, are we really doing this? That wasn't my problem with She Hope. That my problem was it was no fighting in the movie. In the in, in See, the I, I, ex I expected that. It it, it wasn't I one hundred percent expected that, especially with the with the pre release um interviews that were coming out. I'm like this is this is gonna be hard to sit through. Yeah. Not not like I don't care if there's no giant fight scenes. I actually thought it was clever how they I, we're not gonna spoil anything. I thought it was clever how they ended the the final episode, but yeah. ev ev like the just the writing was awful yeah yeah and, and with poor writing comes these low blows and these these shots at people and i'm like it, if you are spending so much money on these incredible actors mm -hmm. please for the love of everything give them a script to match 
Right, right. I don't think it's asking that much. Right. I'm going to say this because we we running on bar time and Ooh, we, got yeah, yeah. More, yeah, we got yeah. one more segment. This is what I feel about She-Hulk, and this is not spoiling nothing, guys. How you said terrible writing. Do you know the origins of She-Hulk, like the, the original origin? Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I'm I'm a I'm gonna spoil the origin for you guys. She Hulk was only created because Hope was created, and CBS CBS was going to make a Hope version for them, a Hope Woman version for them, and and then Marvel came and was like, no, we just got to we we got to go ahead and do this. They literally created her because somebody else was going to create them in their universe and stuff. That's how she that's how she came to life no major thought about it they just brought her to life and said you know what we're gonna work on her later that's how she hope came and and it reflects in this tv show guys we less than a minute we're gonna come right back on the other side of this episode thank you like hit the like button subscribe do all that good stuff see you on the next side hey guys welcome back Look, man, we appreciate you guys for being here with us for this long. We are wrapping up. But before we do that, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you can get all future videos sent directly to your notifications. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Oh, you want to start it off? Oh, you want me to go? No, it's all you, man. It's all you. All right. I only got one question left, and I think we'll, I'll, I'll close out. Okay, okay. Um... What would go from here, man? What would go from here? Uh, this is probably going to be the last question for me. Uh, I'm going to finish it because you know it got something to do with T'Challa's son. Oh, uh, where we go from here? Um, I don't know. I want you to go on this one first before I say what I have to say. Um, it might be so the same. We might be in the same in the same. Strategy. So looking forward, in Phase Five, we've got Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Guardians 3, which is going to be the last Guardians movie. Uh, the Marvels, which I know nothing about. Captain America, New World Order. Thunderbolts. And then Blade. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's going to be a couple other TV shows. Secret Invasion, uh, Loki Season 2, Ironheart, uh, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and Daredevil Born Again. Okay. So there's a lot there. Um, I think that from here, I don't know out, outside of Ironheart, where Black Panther falls into that. Um, Quantumania could set up so many things mm-hmm. and so many possibilities that it's literally inconceivable to figure out where exactly we could pinpoint this. Okay. I think, um, again, they're setting up Thunderbolts. They're also setting up a Young Avengers. Okay. We've seen this with Kate Bishop. We've seen this with Love. We've seen this with, um, oh goodness, there was another child character that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Thor's son. Or not Thor, um, Hulk's son. You're talking Which, about Scar? Yeah. Okay. Not that he's young, but he's... You're, yeah, yeah. It's his son. Person. I got you. Um, I think that what they're doing is they're setting up a Young Avengers. I am going to put on my tinfoil hat, and I think that somehow within Quantumania slash uh, in Phase 6 during the Kang War, I think everyone's getting wiped out. Everyone. Mm. And not like a snap. I mean, I think they're just done. I think I think Kang and all of his um uh what are they called his variants are gonna band up and be like wait w- we win this like one of us is going to win this hmm. so why don't we all just work together and kill all of them like literally all of them right bye which I think would bring back Moon Knight in some way shape or form because he's gonna have to hop from dimension to dimension of the ancestral planes and uh, granted <laughs> I don't know I think they'd be really cool. Um, but I don't think that Black I think Black Panther is going to get shelved for a little bit. Yeah, for good reason. And I also think that um, with Toussaint, with um, you know T'Challa's son, I think that was a very nice send off. I think that Toussaint was just there as a. This is us continuing T'Challa's legacy and Chadwick Boseman's legacy with the name, and this person now living their life away from the throne until they decide to go back to it. If they decide to go back to it, are they going to be part of the, is he going to be part of the young Avengers? I don't know, maybe, but as of right well, now, you I do, don't think so. What, what, what you do know is, um, I don't think he's in the comments, but there's a cartoon out on TV that has T'Challa's son mm-hmm. in there. He, he used lightning and everything. Yes. Too, so. so do you uh, know about that one? No, I, 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 so I haven't watched anything. T- 
T'Challa's canon son, he and Sue Storm. Yeah. Have, or not Sue, not Sue Storm. That's right. that, that's uh Fantastic Four one. He yeah, and he, Storm, Storm from from have uh, a kid. X Man. Yeah. Yes. So he gets mutant powers of lightning mm-hmm. and all of T'Challa's black or uh, uh Black Panther abilities. Yeah. All at once. Mm-hmm. And it's really awesome. Um but again, we haven't introduced the X-Men yet, so I don't know. That's don't a whole know. lot of politics why that's not happen, haven't happened yet. Well, I mean, if Fox would just, you know, stop being Fox for a minute, we'd be fine. <laughs> right. Just right. like if Sony would stop being Sony for longer than two minutes, we'd be fine. Right. But right. Um, all right. I got oh no, do you have anything for that one? No, I was kind of on the same page. That's that's where I, I didn't know where your mind was at. I'm actually glad you started that off, just how you led up to it. Um, uh, because I, I really don't know. I asked it early on into in the first segment as far as um what's is is are they gonna fast forward this time or are they gonna what's that place where you go to where one one hour is like seven days or is it like seven years one oh, that hour was from interstellar yeah so i'm like are they gonna go to a place that's something like that the, like make the quantum him get realm older yeah like the quantum realm make them get older um that's all <sighs> Or, Maybe. or or is it going to be years set out to where once he get older and he can rightfully you know take the throne? I don't know. I don't. I think they did that for for in memory or chat with Bozeman, but at the same yeah. time, they have to set themselves up for future projects. Mm-hmm. So I think you know it's like I said, this movie was good. It was great just for me. And honestly, talking it through now, I guess I guess this is therapy for me. What what me and you is doing is therapy. Yeah. Because now I actually like it a whole lot more. I don't want to say it's a it's a three and a half anymore. I'm gonna give it probably just starting off until I watch it again, a five and a half, maybe six. I'm gonna start yeah. it off right there. But this was therapy, just just to see all the nuances of the film and everything. But yeah, no, you said it, you said it great, man. You said it great. So um, I got one last one for you. All right. It's not really a question, it's more sort of a request. Um, so I already put this notification in my phone. Uh, we're going to come back to this movie because there's a lot of feelings attached to it. There's a lot of emotion attached to Mm -hmm. it. And I think that can sometimes cloud how we see things, both good and bad. Um, I think that we should do a one-year review and a two-year review on this movie. What do you think? Yeah, I'm with it because (laughs) because it's going to... It's going to take about five years for the next one to come out anyway. That's what I'm saying. And and with all of these other projects that are coming up, because so I'll be honest with a lot of you. I get very exhausted keeping up with all, all of the releases that Marvel is having. They've had as many releases in phase four as they've had in all of the previous phases together. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of content, which I love. I mean, that's so cool, but it's exhausting sometimes going, very, all right, very exhausting. Uh, what am I doing this week? Oh, we're going to watch Andor and we're going to watch Moon Knight and we're going to watch uh, 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 House of the Dragon and we're going, oh great. And now I have to watch She-Hulk and it's a lot. Yes, sir. That's like, I have kept up on all of these projects. I have not done reviews on all of them because I was going to do a, uh, an episode by episode and then change my mind and then I'm still working on it. Be patient. Yeah. But, but I think with all of this, like, I think it'd be really good to come back and because again, this is one of the first movies where you and I have kind of differed on points, which I think is really good. I think yeah. it'd be even better to come back in a year and be like, all right, now that all of those feelings and yes, it's sad, Chadwick Boseman passed, may he rest in peace. But let's look at this from a completely objective standpoint now with time on our side as well. Yeah. Cool. No, you're right. You're right. And, and I'm actually glad you brought that up just because I know for good or bad, I know my feelings is in it right now just because of, um, <clears throat> I don't, I don't know if I'm being blunt or if I'm being reserved who I am because I'm trying to think to myself, if chat with Bozeman didn't pass, how the movie would have been. And if he didn't pass and this was the same movie, how my review would be. Mm-hmm. And I'm just trying to think. So, you know, I'm trying to be very sensitive to the situation, but give an honest review at the yeah. end of the day. Um but I still, I still think the movie. What I did, I think is better than what I said. The three point five. I just think with everything that Ron Coogler had to work with, and 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 the rest of the crew, um, I think this is what what was cut out for them. To be honest, and 
I I I love it. The movie the movie was good. I'm gonna watch it again. But we will do that. Oh, uh, but guys, I do want to say this. I want to I want to switch gears right now. In the meantime, when, when there's no movies actually watching, I want to know what are some reviews that you want us to do. Yeah. Right now, I'm watching Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War. I don't know if you're watching Ooh. that. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm watching Bleach. I'm gonna wait until um dub drop just because i know most of you guys is in the dub i'm gonna wait till it drop and i'm gonna start doing episode by episode uh we've been wanting this for how many years bobby <laughs> bro because that full that full green art that full green art was trash you know so i i oh. like it just because i because of who i am but the full green art compared to all the other art was the it's garbage it's trash it's garbage so um that's what I'm watching. And I think in the gap between movies, um, I'm either I'm gonna give you um anime from my perspective. Bobby can give you whatever he wants, but I'm gonna give you anime and maybe TV shows when I'm watching. I'm also watching the last the last season of Walking Dead right now. So um that that's that's how it's gonna pan out. Th- this is Smash, Smash movie and more. That's what the more is for. It's for more um uh, more things other than movies but guys that's it i appreciate all of you guys for being here um i'm gonna let bobby kick this off with the end my throat is dry i need some water so i am done talking bobby what you have for me and the and and the audience y'all i this has been a long long segment um again I think that it's worth power. it. It's been a while since we've been together. It, it, it's been months, man. I, I've, I've had a lot going on in my life that I've just had to handle. Okay. And thank you all for rocking with us. Even with, you know, things being all wibbly wobbly. I appreciate you for that. Um, but we're back to a regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to, I'm going to see as many movies as I possibly can, because that's for me, how I relax. And I love watching movies, especially new movies. And I'm just going to rapid fire these. I know the editing on my end is not great, but listen, Talking head videos videos are normally what I love. If you have any recommendations or requests on how to, you know, make these more entertaining for you, throw them in the comments. I'm gonna read them and I will make those adjustments as we go. Um, y'all, we are just we're so happy you're here. Yeah. Honestly, we cannot thank you guys enough for all of you that are liking the videos and that are leaving comments and that are sharing the videos and that are watching them more than once. And yes, I see you. Yeah, I yeah. see when someone watches a video and I'm like, oh, cool. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm like, you watched it a second time. Yeah. You rock. Thank you. Like, thank you guys for your thank constant you. support. We would not be here without you. You're wonderful. We love you very much. And we will catch you on the next one. Catch you on the Peace. next one. Peace, guys. Mm-hmm.